possible that 120 people control you? Imagine a private club where presidents, prime ministers, international bankers, and generals rub shoulders where gracious royal chaperones ensure everyone gets along. And where the people running the wars, markets, media, and Europe and America say what they say, but never dare to say it in public. As stated by Jesse Ventura, former politician, meetings are no secret. They exist. Today, I will enlighten the conspiracy and highlight the most popular heated topics and how Panorama led many to believe it. The Bilderberg Group Conspiracy. Today, I will introduce the researchers behind this conspiracy. I will highlight interesting facts that led them to personally research them and believe it's true. Let's get to know them. Okay. Original conference was held at the Hotel de Bilderberg near Arnhem in the Netherlands on May 29th through the 31st, 1954. It was initiated by Joseph Rettinger, concerned about anti-Americanism in Western Europe. He wanted a better understanding of the cultures of the United States and Western Europe in order to cooperate in political, economic, and defense, and defense issues. The meeting was really successful and it founded for future funds. One of them who donated was Ford, Company, one of our um, uh, one of our leading businesses in the United States at that time. Okay. Guest list is made up of two attendees from each nation, from banking, politics business, media, and psychology. Here is a couple of pictures, documents that I um, got together for today for you guys. Um, you have UK, Oscar Darling and Robin King, both finance ministers and central bankers. On the left is your finance ministers, on the right is your central bankers. Let's take a look at the U.S. This is a document that's very recent, 2009. Timothy Geithner and Ben Bernank. What happens at Bilderberg stays at Bilderberg. Because of secrecy and refusal to issue news releases, the group is accused of many plots. Researched by them, these guys became very interested because many of them were actually working with mainstream media itself so they were questioning okay so if I'm I've been around here for years but these people aren't giving me anything here's David Ike <coughs> former politician Jesse Rivera <coughs> Daniel Hesselin Jim Tucker and Dr. Stanley Monteith. Here is a couple of pictures Jim Tucker took spying on them. Queen of Beatrix of the Netherlands, one of the wealthiest people in the world. We got Prince Philippe over there. John Van Deer. OK. 
Okay. Jim Tucker is very important. He has been researching the liver group since 1975. He became concerned. Kind of led him to his own death. He was involved in a deadly car chase. Accompanied by author John Bronson. John Bronson was a journalist. He didn't really believe in the conspiracy until he was a part of that car chase. He was a driver. Documents last shown on the last slide were actually documents collected by Jim Tucker's friends that worked at hotels, that worked at these conference groups with these people, such as busboys, waiters, dug up, put them in their pockets, give them to Jim Tucker. They got caught. That's why um, he was involved in that deadly car chase. Plots are depopulation, media, food, medicine, one world government. Henry Kessinger said, world population needs to be decreased by 50%. Former Bilderberg. Depopulation should be the highest priority. Media. Former CBS producer, President Richard Salant explained the major media's role. Our job is to give people not what they want, but what we decide to ought to have. Their top officials and some journalists attend Bilderberg meetings. On condition, they report nothing. Medicine. Let's get a little bit fancy here. They are putting chemicals in our medicine to cause low fertility and um, death. Jesse Ventura feels like they're a mafia. They're out to get you. And one world government, um, Dr. Rima Leobo, natural medicine advocate for the world her um, or health organization um, worked with the former, former Bilderberger and she told her a secret that is now part of our main mainstream media. This interesting fact links to her. Georgia Guystone. 500 people million people. You should keep the population at that number. And it's written right in front of your face in Georgia. <laughs> 